Philip Schofield has suffered another major blow after being axed from the Cube fan attraction in Manchester. The event which opened in February, allows players to take on the Cube and attempt various tasks within the confines of the iconic Perspex box. Philip, 61, hosted the ITV game show from 2009 to 2021 and was featured in a video message welcoming visitors to the experience and explaining how the games worked. But it appears that bosses at the Cube Liv have taken the decision to remove Philip in the wake of his ITV scandal. He has now been replaced by Colin McFarlane, who did voiceovers on the show. Stacey Solomon hits out as she's called annoying after Joe Swash is dad shamed. Latest, the veteran broadcaster left high TV earlier this year in disgrace as he admitted to having an unwise but not illegal affair with a much younger male colleague. As well as leaving his role at high TV's flagship morning show this morning, Philip also stepped down from all other TV jobs, including Dancing on Ice and the British Soap Awards. He was also dumped by his agent of more than 30 years and was dropped from a number of brands, including We Buy Any Car, Win in Rome and the Craft Gin Club, leaving his professional life in tatters. Don't miss! Rylan Clark shares pic of mum in hospital bed after fall as she's taken aback, latest, John Irwin looks fantastic as he reunites with co-star during cancer battle, insight, loose women Sophie Morgan recovering after milestone almost thrown up in air, TV, Philip was forced to come clean about his affair after speculation grew that there was tension between him and former best friend Holly Willoughby. He issued a statement via the Daily Mail that said, The first thing I want to say is, I am deeply sorry for having lied to them, and to many others about a relationship that I had with someone working on this morning. I did have a consensual on-off relationship with a younger male colleague at this morning. He went on to add, contrary to speculation, Whilst I met the man when he was a teenager and was asked to help him to get into television, it was only after he started to work on the show that it became more than just a friendship. Before confirming, the relationship had ended by saying, that relationship was unwise, but not illegal. It is now over. ITV are now conducting an independent inquiry and have hired Julie Mulcahy Casey to lead the external review. ITV's managing director, Kevin Ligo has stated that the broadcaster doesn't have anything to hide. Speaking at the Edinburgh TV Festival he said that everything is available to Jane including every single email, WhatsApp, text that has been sent by people involved in the situation. He added, we do, trust me, take it incredibly seriously. We haven't got anything to hide and if we can adapt and change our process to make it better, then we should do it on a continuing basis.